Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful, fully loaded 2012 Jayco Pinnacle 36 REQS quad slide luxury fifth wheel. This is a Four Seasons fifth wheel, fully loaded, has everything, every single option you probably can imagine. Uh, offering in 2012 so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the video on the inside of the camper and then finish up by showing you the features on the outside this does have a full body paint package keyless entry this is the rear living room floor plan Go ahead and give you an idea of the floor plan or the layout and then I'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to try to show you everything on this coach. As I said, it's fully loaded so if I do I miss something I do apologize ahead of time. Okay, this is a quad slide, fifth wheel, first slide out is a super slide. It's about 14 foot long and three foot deep and it is seven foot high which is something you cannot say about most of your slide outs in fifth wheels. Uh, most of them will be maybe six foot high but this is a seven foot high slide out. You do have the freestanding table and chairs with storage up underneath the chairs. All your fabrics throughout the coach is like the day the owners purchased it. On your table you do have a high leaf. All your woods on the cabinets, everything all throughout the coach is all solid wood. There is no wrap. It's all solid. Okay, on your J Lounge sofa, I think that was an option or part of a package, uh, but that is a high to bed sleeper sofa. Queen bed comes out, definitely sleep easily, two grown adults. And again, all your fabrics are in excellent condition. You do have storage up underneath here. You do have day night shades all throughout the coach and this is equipped with dual pane windows. This is a true Four Seasons camper. Kind of give you an idea of the window treatments here. Get up next to this light here. Of course the rear entertainment center you do have the 40 inch flat screen it's on a power lift there's a button up to the right here push the button it goes up and down you get it and then of course you have the uh, fireplace get the remote here there's a space heater definitely enough to break the chill off in the camper in the morning as I said all your uh, wood throughout the coach is all solid wood so there is no wrap a lot of times they might give you a, a solid wood drawer fronts and your framing will be a wrap but this is all stained solid wood definitely something you can't say about most of your fifth wheels out there your chair here is really cool this is a desk and this chair actually breaks down into like a, a stepping stool so you can break it down and get up to your cabinets up top there I forget you do have beautiful accent lighting uh, beautiful recessed lighting all throughout the coach not the pancake lights the master's about to record and he's a little ceiling fan well, you know how to get okay uh, you do have home theater surround sound does have of course CD stereo DVD it's mp3 ready On your second slide out, it's about uh, probably seven foot wide and it's three foot deep and seven foot tall. You have the two ultra leather rocker recliners. They are recliners. 
And I believe that was part of a package or an option to get the ultra leather. And of course, uh, your day night shades all throughout. And again, dual pane windows all throughout the coach. So most of your fifth wheels, they will not have uh, dual pane windows on the market. So it's rare to find dual, dual pane windows. So again, recessed lighting, more cabinets. Do you have like a little island bar here with two stools? Uh, your kitchen area, beautiful layout. It does have the Corian solid surface countertop. Let's see if I can zoom in. Beautiful countertops. These are the best countertops you will find in the RV industry. Lots of counter space. There's a little Corian logo there. High arched mowing style sprayer faucet. You do have a huge double bowl sink. Again, lots of counter space. This is all Corian countertops and Corian countertops surrounding the stove top. You have a huge microwave, three burner cooktop, looks like it's never been used with cover, so you have a lot more counter space. You do have the largest uh, oven they offer in the RV industry, it's a 22 inch oven, largest one they offer in a fifth wheel. Nice pots and pans drawer, full length metal ball bearing drawer glides, residential, um, all your cabinetry is pretty much same stuff you'll find in a high-end home. Show you something cool here. Nice little hidden cabinet space here for, I guess, uh, your pantry. Wine rack holder. Again, lots of storage space. Looks like they're doing a nice etched glass look finish on some of the cabinets fantastic vent fan gotta have one of those definitely in the kitchen you do have central vac system here it's a dirt devil Here's your thermostat controls, mostly I believe for your air conditioner in the living room here, which is a 15,000 BTU ducted AC unit. And this is where you can control your heat to your furnace. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you your central command. These are your buttons for your slide outs. More slide out buttons. These are all three slide out buttons. This is your third slide out there in the kitchen. And I forgot to show you the refrigerator. We gotta go back here in a second. Anyway, the, on your central command you can figure out where you are on your battery. Fully charged. Fresh water tank. Empty. Black tank is empty. Uh, gray tank which I believe is uh, gray one is I believe your bathroom and your your shower and your sink. And then gray two is your galley I believe. And of course your black tank is your toilet tank. And there's your generator. It is fully loaded. You do have a generator on this. Let's see if we can start this thing up. Not sure how long it's been since the owners. There we go. Started right up. Uh, it has just a little bit over 21 hours on it. Let's see if I can get. There we go. 21 hours. It is the 5500 Onan gas generator. This does have a fuel cell, a standalone fuel cell for the generator. I'll show that when we get outside. Pretty cool thing is the recessed residential door hinges all throughout the on the on all your that's something you can't definitely can't say about most of your fifth wheels. Alright, gotta go back. Alright, you do have the largest uh, refrigerator and uh, definitely you can get in a fifth wheel. It's a 12 cubic foot refrigerator by Norcold. You just flip on a switch and you're ready to go. A couple hours later you should have a pretty cold refrigerator. 
does have the raised wood paneling on the front. Almost forgot to show that to you. Can't believe that. Definitely a nice selling feature on this coach. And that definitely was an option. More storage up underneath. You do have storage here. You do have accent lighting. You do have ducted AC, ducted heat all throughout the coach. Go up into the bedroom area here. You do have the ultra plush king mattress. That is a king bed. Bed slides out. Bed does lift up. Lots of storage up underneath. As I said, this is an ultra plush. This is more of a residential style mattress. This is probably more comfortable than your house mattress. But uh, anyway, definitely nice to have, especially on a king bed feature on this floor plan. Okay, you are uh, 50 amp service on this coach, so you do have the option if you would like to have a uh, washer dryer combo unit. It would go right here. It's already plumbed and prepped up. The owners opted for more storage. Here's where your TV would go, and you do have uh, your cable and satellite ready up in the bedroom area here. Beautiful closet, uh, cedar lined. Definitely something you're not going to say about a lot of your fifth wheels. Lots of storage for your shoes, clothes, whatever. And more storage. We've got it propped open, so I'll leave it open, but these are double mirrors. Kind of show you what they look like there. Yeah, go ahead and. Oh. We're not leveled up here, so anyway. All right, you do have plugs on each side of the bed. So if uh, somebody does have a sleep at machine, whatever side of the bed they sleep on, they will have a plug. This is a full walk around king bed. Beautiful headboard. Nice, I uh, believe this is going to be a 13, maybe a 15 inch flat screen there. Again, more storage. All your cap carpet throughout the coach, it's all excellent condition. It's like a shag carpet. Here's your slide out button for the bedroom slide. Full walk through bath. Another fantastic vent fan. Recessed lighting also in the bathroom. Again, lots of storage. Foot flush porcelain toilet. You do have a beautiful, I guess, neo angle shower. The coach is winterized. Nice skylight. There's your second AC. It is ducted. I will show you this. It does have a quick dump feature. You want to cool off your camper real quick when you get to a campsite uh, these louvers would normally be closed but if you want to do a quick dump open up these louvers does a quick dump and once it gets cooled off after five minutes you can shut these louvers off and then of course you'll have ducted AC all throughout the camper pretty cool I did check this camper for water damage, uh, any uh, damage at all really, and did not to find any issues with water. I did find a few little scrapes on the outside, which I will show you.
And as I said, this is a Four Seasons camper. It's rated at zero degrees. We'll show you something before we go outside. This does have the full remote control package. I do believe that was an option. Uh, you can uh, control your porch lights, your door si slide out, your off door slide out, your other off door slide out, and your bed slide out. Just uh, hit the button, it will blink, and then extend and retract. Uh, and of course, your power awning too. Definitely really cool. Go ahead and show you the outside. Well, I'm here at the door. I want to show you a little telltale sticker that tells you exactly what this weighs. Uh, usually, this coach will weigh around 12,300 pounds, but with the dual pane windows, right now, uh, let's see if the lighting, okay, there it is. Right now, the coach weighs empty 13,392 pounds. And I believe that's probably because uh, an extra thousand pounds for the uh, dual pane windows. Beautiful door with the window. Back up here and then I'll show you the full body paint scheme. This is the premium paint package. Full body paint. Uh, full gel coat. So this is definitely one of the best paint jobs you definitely will find on a fifth wheel. Beautiful front motive fiberglass cap, easy to clean with the paint and the gel coat. Definitely pretty much power washer or just a hose and you're, you'll pre pretty much get all the bugs off pretty easy. Uh, there are no decals on this coach, that's all paint. LED lights all throughout the coach in 2012 on the outside for LEDs on the rear and on the front. That was a big deal so not a lot of people were doing that. Uh, you do have the, of course, tinted windows all throughout. It's an 80% tint, dual pane windows. Uh, you do have the power remote awning. It's about a 20, 18 to 20, I think, 18 foot awning. And it is power. Uh, and it does have a, it's, a, it's like a weather shield. So when the awning is closed, that little shield there will protect your awning from ice and, of course, in the summertime from UV ray damage. 110 receptacle for plugging in odds and ends. This coach is equipped with uh, dual batteries. They're parallel together. Most of your coaches you're going to find is only going to have one deep cycle battery. This does have the dual parallel together. It does have a battery disconnect. Got to have that. Fully insulated baggage doors. Slam latch baggage doors, which I'll show you here when I close them. Huge storage. I call it a Z-frame design, but it's uh, they dropped the frame down and then brought it back up. And anyway, it uh, gives you a lot more storage up underneath here. It is heated. You do have forced heat from the duct work right there. Most of your manufacturers might just give you radiant heat. You actually have forced duct air or ducted heat into the cargo area. There's your Dirt Devil system. Full aluminum frame cage construction. There is no aluminum. Uh, I'm sorry, no wood framing integrated into the uh, frame at all. This is all full aluminum. Keeps a lot lighter. Uh, anyway, nice uh, matting to keep your cargo area, cargo area clean. And you do have uh, set up for uh, if you want to plug in uh, audio visual equipment, TVs, odds and ends, stuff like that. Low point drains here. And there's another one there. Uh, easy uh, for when you're done camping, you want to empty out the, the water lines. You have uh, low point drains there. And then I'll show you the low point drains on the back for your holding tanks. You do have full uh, four way automatic leveling, which I'll show you on the back. So uh, normally you'll just have uh, front auto leveling, but you do have the four point auto level system on this coach, which was a huge option. It is fully enclosed heated underbelly. They call it the Polar Barrier Package, the Four Seasons. Definitely this is a true Four Seasons camper with the dual pane windows and the fully enclosed heated underbelly. I'll show that on the back side. Enclosed heated uh, gate valves or dump valves. I'll show you all that. Keyless remote entry. Full awning package. It does have the slide out awning package. And it does have the, uh, the awnings are actually protected in this tube here. So. Uh, you, your coach is protected from ice, from UV damage, 
all year round, so which is definitely something you're not going to be able to say about most of your fifth wheels. Uh, anyway, give you an idea of the paint scheme on this full body paint. This Jayco Pinnacle is one of the most beautiful Jayco Pinnacles uh, offered, and that's my opinion, but I think most people will agree. Uh, this is definitely the most fully loaded I've seen, uh, even up till now, but uh, anyway. Uh, definitely 2012, this is the most fully loaded pinnacle. Uh, beautiful rear molded cap, LED lights uh, on the brake lights, which is something you won't say about most of them in 2012. This is equipped with the satellite. That's what that little arm is there for, but the, uh, the owners have the satellite. It's a portable dome that attaches to this ladder. Uh, anyway, it comes with it, I believe, and it, uh, the shell or the dome protector is cracked. It's just uh, protected from getting wet, but uh, they hit it up against the garage here when they were backing it in. This is stored inside. All right, this coach is equipped with the trailer hitch, and it does have a seven-way pigtail right here. I believe that was after the fact. Uh, the owners right now, the, uh, they, they actually put that on. Okay, this is 50 amp service. It's a marine style power cord. Detaches, you can stow it away inside your cargo area. Cable, satellite, right here. Show you the back side here. This video is gonna be long because this, this coach has got a lot of features on it. I do wanna point out one thing uh, on the back here. The owner does not know how it happened, but it was touched up with paint. It scraped it, and anyway. A lot of times they say if I don't point it out, you probably really wouldn't even notice it. So I find it important to point out everything. You'd have the ladder to get up to your full walk-on roof with the dual AC units. Of course, your full awning package where the awnings are protected into the enclosures when their awnings are sl slid in. The owners did have a blowout and on your tires all the tires were made the 30th week of 2011 so you still have a good two years left on all your tires this one is brand new but they are all goodyear and they're all e-rated 16 inch tires with the 16 inch aluminum alloy wheels all the tires are in excellent condition this coach is equipped with the more ride system for an easier ride Show you your four point leveling here. There's your two points here in the back, and of course, your, your other two up in the front. This coach is absolutely beautiful, fully loaded. Okay, uh, you do have the Here's where your sewer hose goes. 12 gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. Flip the switch on inside. 15 minutes later, you're ready to go. Here's your furnace exhaust. Slam latch baggage doors. I'll show you. I didn't show it on the back side, on the front side, but these are insulated baggage doors. There's your auto leveling system. Push a few buttons and you're ready to go. That's a reset for your slide outs. And your water work system here, it's all heated and enclosed. You do have outside shower with sprayer, hot and cold running water. Here's your water pump, black tank sewer flush to clean out your toilet tank. Here's your water or hand dispenser, soap dispenser. Here's your winterizing kit. Uh, follow the directions. You're pretty much you'll figure it out. City water fill right here. Here's your enclosed and heated dump valves or gate valves. Normally they're hanging up underneath. Uh, this, these are all uh, enclosed and protected so you don't have to worry about cold weather. Nice light and 110 receptacle. And here's your slam latch baggage doors. Cool. All right, another cool thing on this coach, you do have the dual 30 pound LP tanks. If I can get this thing open. And it does have a pull-out slide tray. You get the idea.
There's your exhaust for your generator, which I'll show you here in a second. Kind of show you the back side here. This looks like the sunset's going to get me here soon. All right. Here's your 5500 Onian Marquee Generator. Definitely the best generator you're going to get with a fifth wheel. There's your fuel cell, standalone fuel cell for the generator. And you should be able to run both AC units on the generator. We'll show you another thing. Well, the batteries, when the owners purchased this uh, from the original owners, the current owners, uh, the battery, the acid ate into the paint a little bit. And it's just in the paint. And it, it must have been uh, boiling over and then when they were driving, I'm guessing. But anyway, just a little damage there. Little spots. Again, if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't really notice it. Other than that, it's, it's a beautiful camper. Uh, definitely 1 through 10, 10 being the best. I think a dealer would take this in. They would call this definitely a 9. Uh, one, 10 being the best, but if you want to come and see the camper, just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give help sell my RV.com a thumbs up. And if you want to follow uh, what's going on as far as RVs for sale by owner in the Louisville area, you can follow help sell my RV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Thank you.